everybody. I wanted to uh, go over real quick because there was a bunch of interest in my uh, new hydroponics. This is uh, a NFT system, stands for Nutrient Film Technique. And my cameraman's going to come over a little bit and we'll show you what we have. These are four inch PVC pipes. Each one is being supplied up through a half inch supply line. And it comes up in these quarter inch lines, drops in, and runs across. As it runs across, we control the water height inside, depending on the size of the plant and as the nutrients need to reach the roots. So it's got to be down far enough or up high enough to let that go. What you'll see is it runs across here, comes in through this little half inch connection and drops down into the drain line and returns back into our reservoir, which we're running about 45 gallons right now, give or take five gallons. I've got a standard 620 gallon per hour pond pump that goes through that supplies this and it's on a timer in the back. It's got aeration 24 hours a day so it keeps the water aerated and the pump comes on 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. So basically twice an hour it goes on and supplies them with the water or refreshes the water. Um, I'll adjust that as I see it need be but right now that's what I'm going to try out. Now if you come over, what well, I'm going to show you this is basically the four inch line. And what we do is we take, these are two inch net cups and they're spaced six inches on center. And it comes in here. What we do is we have a pipe with a hole in it. And that sits on top of the coupling that comes down right here. So what it does is the water flows and we set the water height just to the bottom of the cups when they're new. Once the roots come down, I'll pull this out and it'll keep about an inch of water so there's air space in there for the roots to get air. Now what you can see is right now we've got a bunch of young plants. So the young plants are getting higher water. Um, you can just see if you come over here. You can see right here that the water is just to the top of the cup, or just to the bottom of the cup that is. And that's so that these plants can go ahead and get all the nutrients they need and I have little tiny tomato plants with just a barely bit of root coming out so the water is still high for them and then I have some of these big uh, string bean plants that are a little better well off so we drop the water level a bit for them but basically that's what we have I have a standard little timer in the back here if you can get that but inside I have this net covering over but you can see the aeration and the pump set up coming in and the return coming back in and that is just basically to try and keep the mosquitoes and discourage them from going in there. Um, currently, I have a seedling mix of Master Blend, which has the uh, NPK right at uh, 2014 48, I believe, somewhere 2015 48, 38, sorry. And um, that's what we have running in there right now as a seedling mix, which is about six grams of that nutrient mix per five gallons of water. There's also two milliliters per five gallons of water, a calcium magnet, a uh, cow mag, a liquid form that's mixed in there. And that's to keep uh, from blossom end rot on the tomatoes. And uh, I have cucumbers in here now as well. So these are just the starters. What I plan on doing, I have a bunch of lettuce over on a uh, wheat seed table that we're going to go ahead and uh, transplant in here in the next couple of weeks so they can start growing. And then these are going to get moved out into a greenhouse, which I'll do uh, the video on later. They'll end up in Dutch pockets. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.